It's the most magical time of year. Or is it the most exhausting? So let's simplify the holidays in these four simple steps. Mm -hmm. This is Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. I'm Dr. Tom Salt, medical doctor and functional medicine practitioner. I'm Elizabeth, a registered nurse and wellness coach here at Just Be Well. You just finished hosting a large Thanksgiving crowd and you barely have time to take a breath before you're rushing off and starting your Christmas shopping. Maybe you're waking up at 3 a.m. panicked because of all the things you've forgotten or need to do. Mm -hmm. You still need to find time to pick out your tree, put up those twinkle lights, and when are you going to bake the cookies? Or maybe you just forgot to put the elf on the shelf out. <laughs> While you can't escape the busyness of the holidays, there are steps you can take to feel less overwhelmed. So continue listening and we will explain four specific ways that you can simplify your holiday to create a mindful occasion that you will love. Before we get to the solution, if you like our content, please subscribe, hit the bell so you receive notifications. And if you stick around to the end, we have some lusty stuff for you. So let's get to those four things. The first one is prioritize. Figure out what you actually enjoy and put your energy there. Ask yourself, what is the most fulfilling part of the season for you? Or what's in your top five? Start with those. If baking cookies is at the top of the list, make sure you take time to do that and enjoy that process. I enjoy your baking cookies. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it's at the bottom of your list, Call the local bakery, put in an order, and save that energy for something you prefer to do. Step two, don't clean every corner. Yes, I said don't clean every corner. <laughs> no one expects perfection. No, make the piles of stuff neat. Maybe put them in a closet temporarily. But don't go crazy. Clean the places where people are going to notice. You probably want to have a clean bathroom. But the kitchen, the kitchen is an area where you work. Mm -hmm. So keep it neat, but don't go crazy and cook. And spend your time cleaning after the holidays when everyone has left. And it's going to remain cleaner for more than a second. <laughs> yeah. Number three, drop the gift giving guilt. Mm -hmm. Shopping for others can be very fun and enjoyable, but... Our pocketbooks only allow for so much. So sit down and really prioritize your list. Who do you need to buy for? Who is at the top of the list? And start there. Figure out an amount that you can logically spend and then set a dollar amount to each person. And last, make sure you stick to the dollar amount. So there's a logic to the holidays? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. And it uh, has to do with staying within your means mm -hmm. because it's when we go outside of our means emotionally or financially or physically, that's when we get stressed. Mm -hmm. When January comes around and you start to receive the credit card statements, not a great feeling when you realize you've overindulged and spent. Yep. And step four, don't overcommit to going out. There are many parties over the holidays, but for those of us that need time to recharge, we need to really be careful of how we prioritize our time. Absolutely. You know, just like we've talked about in the last couple of suggestions, you need to prioritize in terms of what brings you joy. You may have an obligation to go to that um, work party. Um, yeah, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Think that through carefully. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have an obligation to go to your in-laws party. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Think that through. But think these things through from a position of joy and gratitude and love. Mm -hmm. And then express that joy, gratitude, and love um, over the holidays by choosing how you use your resources, your, your emotional resources, your energy resources, mm -hmm. and your financial resources. Mm -hmm. Really take time to look at your schedule. And most of us know when the parties are coming up. So 
So pick out those ones that you know are the most important and put those on the calendar first. The rest of them, let them be maybes. Maybe by the end of that week, you're too tired to go to it. So don't overcommit. We can meet up with people after the holidays as well if it's somebody that you really wanted to connect with. So stay tuned for a few more tips. And if this kind of content is interesting to you, please um, like this, uh, subscribe, um, hit the bell, and most importantly, share this content so that our channel can grow. So what can you start doing at home today? First and foremost, sleep. Sleep is so important. We need to make sure we're getting at least seven hours of sleep a night still around the holidays. And make sure you're taking time for yourself, some quiet time to recharge in between all of those gatherings and to-do lists. Yeah, and movement. Get some movement. You know, we're so busy doing, we forget about those basic things. Now, it may be you just have to focus on uh, cleaning uh, as your exercise. But mm -hmm. remember, we said don't clean every corner. Um, Preferably, though, bundle up, go outside, get some beautiful winter sun exposure with a little walk. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't take that long. Ten minutes is enough. And another thing is healthy snacks. We want to make sure that we're, re we're continuing to get proper nutrition around this time of year, especially with the extra stress that we're carrying. So keep healthy, quick and easy snacks in your fridge, in your purse in your car. Anywhere within reach. <laughs> yeah, even though we don't like to encourage eating in that hasty state. Um, if you have something prepared, especially something that's healthy, you can take a little bit of time when you're consuming it because it's already prepared and ready to go. So you can take those moments to reflect and calm yourself for a bit. Right. And then relationships. You know, we're all stressed and hurried and rushing around the holidays, a very time of year when we should be um, filled with love and gratitude, but that sometimes goes out the window with the speed of life. So try to refocus on gratitude in your relationships. You know, um, and the, the contentious relationships you have, just redirect them. Just simply change the subject. It's very easy to do. Mm -hmm. This is Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. If you like our content, please subscribe, hit the bell. Also, we'd love if you would join our community. Come over and get involved. We offer free webinars and live Q&As. Until next time. Bye. Bye.